it looks like there are more jellyfish than water. We aren't the only ones noticing just how many jellies there are off the dock in downtown Annapolis. Whatever the reason, there's sure a lot of them. George Savita has tied up in Eagle Alley for several winter seasons, but he's never seen so many jellyfish around his Meridian 391. This winter was the first time that we noticed them. And, um, you know, they early on in the season we saw a few but there seem to be quite a quite a few of them now. They have a bright orange and purple color, unlike the clear ones we see in the summer. So it is true we are seeing more this year, right? I would say that this year is a good year for Lions Mains. We leaned on Jack Cover, the general curator at the National Aquarium in Baltimore, where there are jellyfish exhibits inside, and he's spotting the Lions Mains species known as winter jellies on the outside. He says reports of sightings are coming in from across the bay. Down on off of Ken Island on Sunday, I saw quite a few. So why are we seeing blankets of jellyfish? Cover says there are several factors and they do go with nature's flow. They feed on these tiny little um, critters, zooplankton, and right now there's an abundant number of copepods. If you lift up a bucket of clear water, a white bucket, and look in it, you'll see little things. They look like a little pepper and they're darting around. That's what these lion's mane jellies are feeding on. Cover says a warmer winter could also be one factor for a population increase. If you walk away and come back, they might be gone based on the tide. And they move up and down the water column throughout the day. And they're like a bouncing ball. They're going up and down. They also favor higher salinity water. Cover says we'll see them around until May or June. I don't think I'll be swimming this year in the bay. <laughs> Do they sting? These sting, and the sting um, is supposedly not as um, obnoxious as the bay, bay jelly, the uh, sea nettle. The sea nettle are what we see when it's warm outside and the winter jellies die off. Cover says they look like living lava lamps, and as soon as you start to curse their presence, remember they have a role in the water too. There's been a common analogy to the ecosystem that if you look at each species kind of representing like the rivet on a plane. You can lose a couple rivets and it probably won't matter. There's a lot of redundancy, but you lose enough species without knowing really what role they play, the wing could fall off. We know that biodiversity is what gives us blue crabs, striped bass, all these things, oysters. Still, George Savita doesn't plan to dangle his feet in the water. Just the fact that they're here is really strange. Calm and relatively clear water also help us see the jellies. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.